it's a it's a very complex issue because of course identities are not blunt things and not just like a table that you can they interact with each other and then you have different layers of, of identities and it's very difficult to know how much your cultural background means in your personal individual identity everything like without your identity oh, question um i guess it kind of like yeah like you need to know who you are before you can kind of go out in the rest of the world and do whatever you do with your life during our wedding we were in spain and i invited my whole uh my whole family down there and some of them told me that that it was as if I was more at home there than here with my personality. Because at home um, I never really felt like I fitted in the norms and values of the society and how you should behave. That made me decide to do my message abroad to see cultures and now I arrived here meeting people from multiple cultures and somehow I feel even though I'm not speaking in my native language way more comfortable in being me. It makes me feel right now out of place because if I was like this at home, everyone is like this. But when you are like this in another country, people just find you are weird because you are not someone who make appointments. It's a square thinking. Um, it just arranges everything. There are two. There's a French and there's a German guy who started talking about food and. Food as a social thing. Um, one of the things they, one of the concepts they talked about was commensability. It means that we eat together, as opposed to what animals do. Animals eat when they can. Yes, maybe one of them hunts a li uh, whatever a zebra, and then on the lines eat at the same time because the zebra is there. But they don't eat. They don't join to eat. Whilst humans, we do join to eat. He said that. The fact that we have a fixed time to eat together, the fact that we enjoy and we talk about what we eat, that makes us human, that makes us a cultural, cultural beings. And in that, in that meeting, in that uh, joining for eating, then we have, developed, we, have, we have developed our identities as well. It's still working as a differentiation element, a very easy one because we need to eat, I mean. We cannot avoid it. I would identify more with cosmopolitanism, um, but I do value traditions, and I think the way to balance that is that as long as you don't enforce your traditions on someone else, um, then you are being a citizen of the world and you're not trying to change someone else for who they are. I don't know if I would really say I'm a child from the earth. I would more call myself a European citizen in that sense. So I would say it's a mix of both. Yeah. I'm a Spanish cosmopolitan. Actually, it's mainly Spanish, but with some Latin tendency. So we're kind of like in between. Um, I feel uh, quite of a world citizen because I I tried living in, in Norway and there I was the Dane and after that I tried living in Australia for a year and there I wasn't the Dane anymore, I was the European suddenly.